everyone is asleep in the car, which gives me a few minutes to talk about something very, very incredible. The ultra super mega fight of all time between Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor coming up in August. <sighs> in my life, there have been five moments that I've looked forward to. Our wedding, the birth of our three children, and this fight. I haven't been this excited for a fight ever. When GSP fought Johnny Hendricks, I was super excited. When Anderson Silva had his rematch against Chris Weidman, I was excited. When John Jones had his fight against Daniel Cormier, the rematch, I was super excited. And it got cancelled. But this fight is going to be the greatest fight in the history of fight night fights. First of all, can we talk about the fact that Conor McGregor is going to bag a nine-digit payday in this fight? There is no one more deserving than Conor McGregor. He's the best trash talker in the history of the sport. His trash talking is Shakespearean in its prose. It's beautiful, it's glorious, it's eloquent. But it's not just that he can trash talk, he has had to deliver every step of the way and he's done it. When he fought Diaz, even though he lost, it was glorious, came back for a rematch and won. He's fought everybody and destroyed them. It's not just that he sits there and talks the talk, he punches the punch. He built this fight from the first day he started fighting and he's reaping the dividend benefits of what he's built for himself and his brand and it's incredible, he deserves it. Awesome. But now the question is what's gonna happen in the fight? Marty, sit down. We know that boxers can't take on MMA fighters in the sport of MMA. There's too much to learn. They're out of their element. It's so much more multi-dimensional than boxing. You have to do kicks, submissions, defenses. It's a, it's a different sport. So the question is, what's gonna happen when an MMA fighter has to shed half his or her arsenal to fight in the boxing ring? I personally think McGregor has a good chance of beating Mayweather. When the MMA fighter goes into boxing, they don't have to learn new things. They have to filter things out of their arsenal and focus strictly on foot movement, boxing, head movements. These are things that they already have as MMA fighters. The biggest risk in my mind for McGregor is that he has to lose certain reflexes which are good for MMA but useless for boxing. He doesn't need to worry about leg kicks. He doesn't need to worry about submissions. He doesn't need to worry about the clinch. All that he has to focus on right now, foot movement, head movement, striking speed, but another big difference is that, as a mixed martial artist, using four ounce gloves, Connor is used to a certain impact that comes with a strike that may not come with these padded boxing gloves. Striking someone with four ounce leather open fingered gloves in MMA has a certain impact. Is Connor gonna be used to the fact that he's gonna have more padding with the strike and it won't have the impact that it has in MMA? I think he will. Because as Connor always says, accuracy over power, accuracy every day over power, like he did with Jose Aldo, accuracy over power. But he's going to have to spend the next few months totally shedding half of his arsenal and focusing only on what is essential for boxing. Now, the story with the gloves though goes both ways. McGregor may be disappointed that a strike with padded boxing gloves isn't going to have the same impact that it has with four ounce fingerless leather gloves in MMA. Connor is used to being punched with those things. So how's it gonna work when Mayweather punches him with these padded gloves? Connor's used to being beaten basically with bare fists, and Connor can take a punch. You know, my biggest fear is that Connor's gonna absolutely just forget what sport he's in and do a roundhouse leg kick to Mayweather's face. <laughs> that would lead to riots. Or that like in the clinch, McGregor's gonna have his arms around Mayweather and just give him a knee to the solar plexus. <laughs> Yeah, there would be riots for days if that happens. The other thing I'm concerned about is some sort of chicanery. If Connor can't compete and it's going to be a blowout, I don't want them planning some sort of like at least let it go four rounds. If Connor's going to get destroyed, let Mayweather destroy him in the first round. I will pay $100 to see that. I don't think it's going to happen. But holy cows, as far as showmen go and as far as someone who's been able to build his brand Conor McGregor got Mayweather to come out of retirement and fight an MMA fighter. And I don't care what anybody says, Mayweather is incredible. He's fast, he's accurate, but so is Conor. He's scrappy and he can take a punch. Anyhow, we have reserved the house and invited over hordes of people. It's gonna be the greatest fight in the history of humankind. What is this? That's my dog's butt.
I like you Floyd Mayweather, but go Conor McGregor.